we need a better situation for reclaiming our screens with a really nice washout booth. And right now, uh, we don't have that. It's Saturday morning, and so this weekend, I've got to get that built. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna be moving by the end of the month to the new location. Um, so I gotta get access to the new building this morning and see if I could go ahead and build it over there because I don't wanna go through the process of trying to set, I don't have the room to set it up where I'm at now and uh, I'm not gonna move it later. So we gotta get that set up at the new place. So we'll see. Okay, I got the keys to the new place from my landlord and have permission to go in there and build out this washout booth that I desperately need. So now I'm on my way to a buddy of mine's hardware store in a great metop metropolis of Hallsboro, North Carolina. It's a store called Pierce and Company. Very cool store. It's been around for over a hundred years and has a rich history. And um, I might show you a little footage of it when I get there. Another cool thing is right now, my 15 year old daughter who just got her learner's permit is driving the Pearson Company in front of me in the family car. So here she this is. This is kind of, she's been driving around town a lot, so she really hasn't been able to pick up a lot of speed, but <laughs> she's getting the opportunity right now. I just gotta keep up with her. I think her mother's telling her to slow down. So if you're driving around Eastern North Carolina, please be careful. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, welcome to the booming metropolis of Hallsboro. We got a water tower. There's a post office here. And then, oh my goodness gracious, there's Santa Claus. Wow. Here's my buddy, Mark. <laughs> Santa's waving. <laughs> I've done a lot of window perf, a lot of signs in this place, including a really cool mural in the back. Wow, this is the perfect day to come. <laughs> I'll show you all the mural that we've done. Behind these charging stations here, pretty cool. Pearson Company is a great, great store. They have a fantastic meat market there. Uh, they make their own sausage there on site. I ordered a prime rib for our Christmas Eve dinner. We got a really, really nice looking chuck roast. Um, this recipe we like to do. But then, you know, they're a full on hardware store as well. So they got a little bit of everything. They got some outdoor furniture, they got hammocks, they got case knives, the stuff to cast iron cookware just all kinds of just really 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 cool things they're right off of highway 74 so if you're driving between charlotte and wilmington on highway 74 and you're near hallsboro stop by pearson company uh, it's definitely worth a stop they do have electric charging stations there if you drive an electric vehicle so just a really really cool store all right, here's what the new place is looking like so far. They've been working on cleaning up the floors, polishing them up a little bit. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of work to be done there. And that's the biggest thing with this place is flooring. And over here, here's where we're gonna build out. All right, here's what we've done so far today. We have a double washout booth. One side will be for washing out ink on screens. The other side will be for washing out ink and emulsion on screens. There's two different types of chemicals for each different process. So that means on one side we'll have, chemi those chemicals on this side will have sponges that were used with that chemical on this side and it'll keep us from having cross-contamination. 
I still got to do some plumbing work down below. Uh, we got to build out a water filtration system before it gets drained into um, the city sewer system. Also, I'm going to be putting up, uh, we're going to be separating these with, I got some leftover ACM board. I might use the ACM board uh, just because that's what I have on hand. I think that's probably going to work out pretty good. Um, on the back, I am going to use acrylic board on the back because I am going to put some LED lights behind it. Um, LED lights really help you see the image that's on the screen as you're washing it out. So that's going to help out tremendously. So, so far, this is what we have on the washout booth. The good thing about this is uh, the plumbing will be able to tie in with the plumbing in the bathroom over here. So we'll also be able to run water over here to feed our pressure washer. So it's a really good location. Um, anyways, coming back to the, the new space, we're building out a wall right here. And that's just going to kind of give us a space where we're going to have some privacy, um, where we could eat hanger coats, that sort of thing. Um, so this wall here is actually coming down for access to the bathrooms. Uh, this, this wall right there is coming down. Uh, we are building out a little bit of a stall of a wall right here. Um, and then all of that is coming down because we are putting in a garage door in place of this door opening right here. So that's going to allow us to bring some, some vehicles in, trailers in for doing wraps. And most importantly, it's going to allow us to bring in some larger equipment like a flatbed in the future. So washout booth is right there as I pivot towards this way. This was the old office for the office manager for the grocery store that used to be here way back in the day. So the manager's office has a built-in floor to it, which we are going to take out. That door is going to go away. Instead, we are going to put a door right here so that we can access this for screen printing purposes. The This is going to be our screen room, our exposure room. So um, we got to keep the emulsion out of UV light. So it's going to be really important for us to have a little dark room for that. Making it floor level is going to be really nice because then we're going to be able to wheel in screens on a cart really easily towards the washout room, which will be right here. Washout booth right there. Screen printing is going to happen right there. So we're going to have to vent out the heat from the conveyor belt dryer. So I think I'm going to run that along this back wall, go into the back there, or I'll run it along this wall. Well, I don't know. We got to figure out a place to do that. Uh, how we're going to vent the heat that we're going to have coming through here. We got to figure out ventilation for our lasers as well. So I was kind of thinking about tying everything everything together so that we have one system that's going to ventilate our lasers plus all the heat that comes off of our equipment for screen printing. So if we could tie it into one system. I feel like that would be a good thing. We'll see. Cost so far for the washout booth. I paid a hundred bucks for that. A hundred bucks for that. So $200 in the bottom shower units got those off of Facebook marketplace. Um, this wood that's here, these are true two by fours that used to be part of a bench. So most of the main support beams came from reclaimed wood. The only wood that I bought for this project so far are the eight two by fours. Uh, you see six of them here. Then I have some that I, that I also purchased for 
little cross beams. So, so far, don't have a lot of money in this booth. A comparable size washout booth would cost a little over $4,000. So I'm all about saving money where it makes sense. I'd rather invest it in equipment that I can't build and make and build out something simple like this. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I do believe we're at about 66 subscribers right now. If I get to 100, that means I could start doing things like live streams, I think. And that would be really cool. I'm not allowed to do live streams yet because I'm just not important enough. But if you guys help me get there, I would be very grateful for it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Please give the video a thumbs up. Help me out with the algorithms. And I'll be uh, updating you guys on the progress of this very soon. Take care.